Hey guys, I'm back for a review of the classic film released by Grindhouse, and that is I Drink Your Blood, David Durston's classic hippie, hydrophobia, rabies type movie. Uh, a really incredible wild trip from 1970. Uh, and this is a fantastic release of Grindhouse. I, I've it will take hours. It took me hours to go through the whole thing, and I was um, highly enjoyable. A typical release from Grindhouse, and um, if you don't have this, I highly recommend getting it. I Drink Your Blood was was produced by the notorious Grindhouse sexploitation producer Jerry Gross, who also went on to re distribute Lucio Fulci's Zombie. Right after Dawn of the Dead, he, he uh, but but what happened in 1969 was he he got he called David Durston and uh, said, hey, will you make a low budget horror film? I don't really want vampires or werewolves or zombies in it. I want a horror movie based on real life current events. And of course, in the late 60s, you had the Vietnam War. You, you had the Charles Manson murders that just occurred. Um, so you had a lot of things going on there that inspired this film. And uh, you can see a lot of those elements in this film. The, the, um, the guy that played um, Horace Bones the, was an Indian dancer <clears throat> that uh, basically plays the Charles Manson character. He's... He's leading a cult group of Satan worshippers that uh, uh, ransack a town, uh, and this little kid poisons them with blood from a from a dog, a rabid dog, and uh, they get rabies, and then they get hydrophobia, which is basically a fear of water. Um, but yeah, this this the acting in this is excellent. All the actors are nondescript. You know, they're not um, they're not well-known actors, but like Lynn Lowry went on to be. She was the mute girl that was in the the group. She went on to do uh, a number of interesting films, and now she's a singer apparently. Um, but the, I think the best acting job was done by the the Indian leader that played Horace Bones. Now, he tragically had an accident, like in 1977. He ended up was doing a uh, a dance at some stage in New York and fell into the orchestra pit and broke his back. So he he's been a uh, paraplegic from you know since 1977 apparently. But uh, uh, at any rate, this film has everything you could possibly want in a grindhouse exploitation film. Uh, you've got uh, murdered animals, which you know I mean you got a chicken gets the head cut off. You've got rats that get uh, burned uh, you've got a Vietnamese woman that's part of the Satan worshiping crew that sets herself on fire on a lot of Vietnam War protests uh, you've got a, a, a black guy that get, that ends up taking an axe and cuts the legs off a person you've got a uh, Lynn Laurie takes a um, uh, like a meat slicer, electric meat knife, and cuts this girl's arm off. Uh, just a wild, crazy ride. And uh, well done, actually. I mean, for the low budget, it was like, the budget was like $500,000. Uh, but the special effects are excellent in it. And it's really a, a very well-made movie. The, the, the musical score is excellent in it. Cinematography is great. And the acting is fantastic. It's a real uh, gritty, yeah, you know, it's it's one of those films from the '70s that's got that real life grit and feel to it that uh, you just don't get in the more polished efforts of today. The release is uh, jam packed. I mean, this is just a really a jam packed release. Um, the film was released as a double bill with a film that was originally called Voodoo Bloodbath. Jerry Gross picked it up and couldn't figure out what to do with it and renamed it I Eat Your Skin, the 60s uh, zombie film. 
I eat your skin. And he paired it up as a double bill if I drink your blood. Now, interestingly enough, I mean, Jerry Gross obviously is a, has a talent for promotion uh, because the, the, these catchy titles have nothing to do with the film. There is no blood drinking and I drink your blood. And there's nobody's skin that's getting eaten and I eat your skin. But uh, those catchy titles clearly work. The movie's made a lot of money. Um, when the film was released, uh, it, got, it was the first film that got an X rating and not had just purely for the violence and and interestingly enough it was also one of the, uh, the films that mary whitehouse used to uh, demonstrate in a trailer of horror movies why we need to censor uh, these films back in the 80s uh, that, that pre predated the video nasties mary whitehouse used i drink your blood as an example of why we needed censorship uh, but at any rate, when the film was released, Jerry Gross, to avoid dealing with the X rating, he'd already sent this thing out to hundreds of movie houses, just told the, um, the theater operators, hey, just edit, you know, edit what you think you need to edit. Uh, it's too late to really pull the movie. And so this film has so many different versions that was seen back in the 70s with all these varying edits just just out of the you know it was really inconsistent edits all across the board you had people that were trying to make judgment calls about what should be edited and what shouldn't be to, to avoid an x rating uh, but this is this has the uncut release the x rated release and it also has the uh the director's cut which includes a lot of scenes that were felt that were too comedic by the producers and so they exercised them. Uh, there's uh, three commentary tracks, uh, two on the X-rated edition and then one on the uh, the director's cut. There's also an hour-long interview with David Durston. Um, there's uh, three different uh, interviews and uh, look at where David Durston made public appearances at Cinema Wasteland and places like that talking about the film uh, and then there's of course I'd Eat Your Skin is on here as well I Eat Your Skin is on here with a little Easter egg if you go to if you hit play if you if you go to the bonus features and hit uh, the left button when you when you when you're on I Drink Your Skin and you hit the left button, Elvira has a three-minute uh, in, uh, intro to I Eat Your Skin, which is, which is interesting. Uh, there is also, if that's not enough, there is uh, an early David Durston exploit, sexploitation film called Blue Sextet that was released in 1969. It's really a softcore porn movie, but I, there, I, it's very tame very very tame I mean you could watch a Jess Franco film and see a lot more Bush and things like that and tits than you will in this day blue sex tab but blue sex it's actually an interesting film it's about a guy uh, the guy that plays the hero in this Damon the guy named Damon uh, in blue sex tab plays a uh, this wealthy eccentric guy that uh, jumps off of uh, jumps off of a uh, building kills himself and in the next 90 minutes of the film people are uh, rehashing and going back through his life and their interactions with him to, basically to determine he was really kind of a perverted asshole and uh, they're trying to decide why did, did he kill himself or was he pushed off the building and uh, they go through a series of vignettes that talk about really what a sick perverted bastard he was and uh, it's actually a pretty good movie I enjoyed it it's slow it's uh, it's very talky and slow but I actually kind of enjoyed it along with that there's a commentary track uh, on that film with the director as well uh, yeah, this thing is just chock full. There's a bunch of Easter eggs, too. And most of those Easter eggs you can find by 
when you highlight like an interview or playing of a film and you hit the left button, arrow button, it'll come up. You'll see it. Uh, there's a there's one Easter egg with uh, David Durston singing a song for two minutes. It's pretty funny. But yeah, this is a, this is a fantastic release. I mean, I just highly recommend this if you don't have it. Grindhouse just knocks it out of the park with this one. There's two discs, two Blu-rays, and you got your back cover art. You also have a little booklet that comes with it that uh, has some reminiscences about the director and an overview of the film and the period which it was made in the 1969-1970 um, and a little a little uh, vignette a tribute to David Durston by some of the actors John Damon particularly so yeah great release I drink your blood I eat your skin and blue sextet great release I mean you can't ask for more than that this is uh, I pretty much worked my way through it over about a week, so highly recommended, and uh, it's going to be a shame if Grindhouse stops producing this kind of material, because it's outstanding. Alright guys, I need to get back to smoking my cigar before it goes out. Thanks for watching, appreciate it.